Hi everybody, all my followers be welcome to another video. Right, the video today is on a 2010, I believe it is, F11. Uh, it's a BMW 520 diesel. And um, if you have not watched the video for this car, I do strongly advise you to. Um, I will leave a link in the description of this video. Um, and this video is, uh, so long story short, we diagnosed a bad DSC unit, uh, water got into the plug, uh, damaged some of the pins, um, there was a lot of corrosion, some pins actually broke from the unit, so we had to replace the unit. So once we had the unit replaced, um, which actually at the moment, let me turn the ignition on, which at the moment the unit is not even fitted, um, so let me go here through the thingy. So we have all these faults for the brake system. Okay, at the moment, uh, the new unit is not yet fitted to the car. Uh, it's just under the car. The car is jacked up on that side. It's under the car, just plugged in. Uh, but that should be enough for us to do what I want to do here. The weather is not very good. So um, if I can at least program the unit, then I can uh, fit the unit at a later stage. So uh, at the end, we were left with these two faults. As I said on the other video, the top, uh, this uh, fold at the top, I'm not sure if we're going to look at this or not. It all depends on the owner of the car. Um, but uh, after we replaced the unit, as you can see, we were left with no faults. Before we had um, loads of faults for open circuits on some of the sensors, etc, etc. Uh, we were left with this fault, uh, which is this one for the unit no encoded for the vehicle, wrong vehicle. So that's what we're gonna try to do now here. Um, to do this with the Maxxis, you need the F-Series adapter, which is basically a OBD that then splits in there, Maxxis connects in there, and you have a network cable that connects all the way to the Maxxis. We need to connect the VCI, the J2534, with a USB cable, it will ask us for that. Uh, and from here, we go back to our main menu and we're going to go to programming. So it tells you how to connect this. We already did that. Just press OK. And now it's going to um, connect to the car. It's going to read FA. It's going to re read all the information from the car including modules, etc, etc. And on the next user input, I will stop and I will take you through. Okay, so we found chassis, SA, etc, etc, etc. At this point, we don't want to do nothing here. All we need to do is press OK. And now it's going to start to read uh, the information of every single module. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's why it does. And there it is, doing just that. And now he should ask us, if I'm not mistaken, if any units were replaced. Which at this point we press yes. Now he's going to ask us which unit we have replaced. So we're going to scroll down until our ABS DSC and we selected it and we press OK. And this is your menu now for the coding, etc, etc. So, uh, just let me quick check because sometimes depending on the cars, this is done slightly different. But the way I usually do it, um, I'm not going to do a full thing because most likely it's going to ask me to. Let me just check. It's going to ask me to update loads of modules and I'm not very keen to do it unless I really have to. This is actually good. So the initial report tells me that no units needs to be updated, which means that this car um, either never had updates since it came out or has been updated very, very recently. Um, I know for a fact from the other video, if you've seen it, I think I showed you that, the actual DSC unit was updated in 2016, which you should be able to come back and come to... come here and go to control unit list and come to ABS and information 
and you're going to see that has been updated in 2016. So it's actually good that the car doesn't want to update any other modules because it's going to make things a little bit easier. Um, it's always advisable. Um, I don't always do it, but sometimes it's advisable that when you update a module, you update any other module that the software tells you to. Um, so, uh, yeah, so that's what it is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to code. I'm not going to program the module because there is no point to program, I guess. Uh, so what this does is program coding let's just do a coding okay that's gonna execute measures plan <coughs> voltage I think I'm gonna have to plug in my battery charger uh, the voltage uh, just hold a second okay it's connected now uh, but uh, due to the battery was a little bit low, I had the ignition here on for some time. Uh, we're going to have to let the battery to go over 13 volts before we are able to continue. So I'm going to let it charge a little bit until we get to 13 volts and then we'll carry on. Okay, and it's doing the job. Uh, the voltage dropped a little bit when I start the... When I started the procedure, but uh, it was overing about 13.4 around there. <clears throat> so here we go. As you can see, it's quite quick, it doesn't take too long. So ignition just came back on. On these F-series, you don't need to do the ignition cycling. Um, the machine cycles the ignition when it's required. So don't get scared when you see all the dash going off, etc. It's just the way it works. Okay, it took a little bit on this media-oriented system transport, so I just paused. We just turned the ignition off again. Now doing the delete fault memory. Very shortly should turn the ignition back on again. There we go. Ignition is back on. And now it's doing the scan again for the modules. Straight away, as you can see, all my faults for brake system are already gone. Now it's going to give us a report, and our report is that everything has been done successfully. We'll press OK.
it goes through this procedure even though the VO was not changed. It does this sort of stuff as, as a standard. Okay, so that just finished. So if you go to now come out of the programming session, we don't need anything else here. We go to diagnose again, control unit, uh, chassis, ABS. We should be left only with that electromechanical fault. Uh, if that was part of, uh, if that, oh, actually no codes detected. Well, that's good. Uh, Will be great if that fault was actually all to do with the coding, etc. Uh, we're gonna turn the ignition off now and leave it off. Hold on, come out of this. So, as you've seen, that doesn't really matter because this video was not for that other fault, it was purely for the coding. So, we just turn it off. I'm gonna start the engine this time. The engine is a little bit, no, yeah, that's fine. The car is still jacked up on that side, but I think the yeah, it should be alright to start. So let's gonna start. There we go. And look at that. Beautiful. Bonnet open, that's why we have that triangle, etc. But other than that, spot on. So let's gonna go back to my ABS unit again. Let's scan the car again, see if any faults come back. Well, look like it's fixed. So, guys, this is how you code a unit. Usually, when it's modules that needs uh, VIN numbers changing, uh, you need to go through the programming. Um, during the programming is when the, the VIN number is updated. So, it's always... Uh, but if there is an update available, I usually also do it. So, we have a second unit now programmed to this car. This is how it's done, guys. I know it's not rocket science. We haven't really did nothing special other than press a few buttons. Uh, and what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna actually put the unit back on the car because the unit is just there. If you watch the other video, this is straight after I plugged in the unit. So the unit is just inside the box plugged in. It's not even in place. Uh, that's what we're gonna do next. But these guys is how you, in this case, how you code a second -hand unit into a F chassis a BMW uh, and that's it and just a quick note in case if you guys are curious because on the other video that I've done actually finding the problem with this car I mentioned that I would have to spend a little bit of money to update to renew my max CCs you don't have to for coding okay uh, if you need to do programming yes because uh, will not allow you to download the files from hotel servers um, and if you need to update VIN numbers, etc., you need to download that Flash program to then, so the Maxis is then changes what needs to be changed and you program it back to the module. To do coding alone, you don't have to. Uh, you will do coding offline. Uh, sorry, with, uh, with um, um, an expired uh, subscription, but it will not do programming. So quite lucky on this. I thought it would be way more expensive. I would love to renew the subscription at some point, but not until I really need to. So, uh, yes, now let's gonna wrap up this video, guys. So, nothing special, but still, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope there's some information here you can find useful. If you do have any questions, any comments, please, please put them below. And like always, thanks for watching.